Hey guys, Penadaily here, and welcome back to Let's Play um, <clears throat> TMNT, Shredder's Revenge. Uh, in the last episode, we did the first two episodes. Or first two, well, that's what the levels are called. And here, I'm just showing off the new map of New York, the Overworld map. It's a pretty cool map, and actually rather uh, accurate to real New York, except that all of that should be tilted a little to the uh, northeast. <laughs> um, we're going to take on episode three, Mutants Over Broadway. Mutants Over Broadway. Uh, like he said. Uh, these openings, by the way, are taken from Turtles in Time. Yeah, that is what they were stealing the engines and tires for. The, this turtle tenderizer. That's what it's called. You'll find out. I love this music. Oh, yeah. The thing we're on is a called a cheapskate. They were shown in the show. Quite a bit, actually. Yes, the turtles had motorized scored skateboards a little before Detective Conan, though I'm sure that was not an, <laughs> an intentional influence. Oh, something the black nerd pointed out that I had not realized is that Overworld map is based on the one from the original Ultra Imprint Turtle game. Yeah, I had forgotten that. Everybody compared it to Mario 3. It, yeah, it does look like Mario 3, but the it's it's the overworld map from the original turtles. Tubular those things are called tubular transports, I believe, and they are really fucking annoying. Usually I'm better at avoiding that shit, but yeah, I got a little distracted. Yeah. Uh Roth's aerials are pretty good for taking out those flying enemies. Uh where are the foot getting these really awesome convertibles? Can I have one? And so now we're through the tunnel. This is not Broadway, by the way. If you looked on the map, Broadway's the other side of uh, Manhattan. So I don't know. Not sure where this tunnel is. And, and there is an extra uh, bridge. But you can't hurt the truck. So just stay out of the way of the firebombs Rocksteady is throwing. Which, and of course, out of the way of the falling ceiling. <sighs> yep, just careful, careful. And, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, at this point I'm a little uh, worried because I'm highly... I'm extremely low, so I decided to start ta tactically using my supers. I had just enough, and then I used my taunt fast enough to regain my super, and I knew to stay in the middle because and then I missed the goddamn pizza. I cannot believe I missed the goddamn pizza. I hate these guys. They're very awkward. For one thing, they move a lot, and so it can be difficult to stay in line with them. It can also be difficult to make sure, be sure you're lined up with them. I mean, they have the shadow underneath so you know where they are, but it can still be difficult, especially when they move because you're paying attention to the brightly colored sprite, not the shadow on the ground. And then they can just be difficult to hit. Uh, you, I would use an area, an up attack, you know, the up air attack rather than the, yeah, there, see? That's why they call it mode 7, because the guy comes right at you. The achievement. And, I, and here I'm trying to kill these guys, but boy, they're just... Flying kicks will hit them, but they don't really do as much damage, so stick with the up, you know, the uppercut. Yes, Raphael does a shout at Shoryuken. And, of course, this bridge is probably a homage to the one that you fight across in uh, Turtles in Time, where Krang is, Krang's body is visible way bigger than it has ever been in the actual show. Even in the one where, may, well, maybe not in the one where he got, uh, where he had a chip that made it expand. Molecular expansion chip or something like that. This time we got the pizza. 
So, something interesting about this boss. Yeah. Because, of course, the truck is the boss. Turtle Tenderizer. This is an unreleased toy vehicle. Yeah. They really went with some of the deep lore. You can hit this thing if you, like, attack it from... from the right distance, but it's so hard to judge, and it moves so much. In a lot of ways, you're better off... Ouch. Carefully timing your taunts. Uh, the best time to do a taunt is when Rocksteady's doing that, because there's a... If you're in the right corner of the screen, there's a very long time that he's not hitting you. And then use your super attacks. See, there I'm okay, up until I'm not. But it was so close to being dead, I didn't bother building up another super. I just uh, went for it. Easy peasy. And I just skipped. Destroy. The turtles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Kevin Michael Richardson uh, voices the voices um, Krang or Krang Shredder here. Uh, he voiced Skulker on Danny Phantom. I mean, uh, he's good. Nobody can be James Avery, unfortunately. Rumble in the zoo. Yep. Location: Central Park Zoo. Central Park Bye. is in the right. This ain't gonna be a walk in the park. Very funny, Roth. Roth has a lot of good... Yeah, I think he does voice lines more often than the others, which would make sense. I don't know why I'm getting my ass juggled here. I just was not... For some reason, I just was not playing well. And we've got some terrified passerby. And parrots. And two cans. I'm pretty sure the toucans, are, at least, are not allowed to f roam around the zoo freely, but I could be wrong. I've never been to the Central Park Zoo. The Central Park Zoo shows up in several episodes. It's where Shredder got the rhino and the warthog to mutate Bebop and Rocksteady, and where he got the animals to mutate another couple of... Well, he mutated another couple of animals into animal people. Ugh, those whip foot are a pain in the ass. I try and prioritize them. And of course, I've got my new super. And this is why the whip foot are a pain in the ass. Right. Okay, there's Irma's diary. Yeah, yeah. You can knock those manhole covers back at the bad guys, but I'm so bad at it. Because, you know, it takes timing. And we have found Attila the Frog, one of the punk frogs. The punk frogs were created in the cartoon, at least by Shredder, who was attempting to make, well, basically evil versions of the turtles. Unfortunately for Shredder, the frogs are pretty much pacifists, but he named them, much as Splinter did with the turtles, Shredder named the frogs after his personal heroes. So we have Attila the Frog, Genghis Frog, Rasputin the Mad Frog, and Napoleon Bonafrog. Yeah. They live in the swamps of Florida, and they all have really exaggerated southern accents. They're nice guys. But like I said, they're pacifists. Well, they're not pacifists, because they just don't like to fight. They're peaceful, not pacifists. Pacifism is a, you know, moral philosophy. And there we have a pizza. Which I don't really need, but, well, I might after I'm done with these assholes. And that was sushi. Yeah, the turtles go, raw fish! Uh, the very first episode establishes that Splinter is quite fond of sushi. <sighs> if 
you stood, stand right up there at the top of the screen, you won't get hit. I knew that, and I still moved. Don't ask me. More of those little fucking roadkill Rodneys. I hate those things. Um. Oh, yeah. So, if you notice those, uh... Enemies that get loose are all are all rhinoceri and warthogs. The same enemies, the same animals that mutated Bebop and Rocksteady. Bebop and Rocksteady were human punks. Bebop was actually black. I most people do not remember that because he spends so long as a warthog. Tigers! Aren't they pretty? There's nowhere to dodge, so you just have to try and jump over them. Or use a super. Or dodge roll through them. That sure hits the spot. Yes, the disgusting bug. That's a new gun. And yes, these freaking little monkeys can throw bananas, and they will hurt whoever they hit. They're an obstacle. And they're a pain. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, because uh, I was trying to so that I could get my super meter back up and stood near the monkeys for too long. New roadkill... These, you know, upgraded roadkill Rodneys. I don't think the yellow ones ever actually existed, but then neither did these, you know, 900 kinds of foot soldiers. In the cartoon, they wore dark purple-blue, and that was it. Good. You're orders for but... Boys. Eat a slice of pizza and calm down, Burn. Speaking of people who should eat slices of pizza, but I wasn't really paying attention to my health meter. Unfortunately. And I died. Yeah. Right near the pizza. And then, of course, I was completely uninjured, so I couldn't make use of the pizza at all. Oh well. Just those two guys, so, yeah. Get my taunt meter back up. Or my super meter back up. And we have... <laughs> You're gonna get the horns, partner. Can you dig it, suckers? Ground Chuck and Dirt Bag. These two appeared in a later episode. Well, not that late. It was a, a mid. I think it was about midway through the series. Um, uh, Planet of the Turtleoids. I no. Uh, or it wasn't. It was either Planet of the Turtleoids or the sequel. I can't remember which. Um, these two were accidentally mutated by Shredder when he tried to make replacements for Bebop and Rocksteady. But the animals he originally intended... got... Yeah, yeah. The animals he originally intended got loose, and instead he got a mole and a cow. Or bull. And yeah, I missed that completely. Oops. They had a much... Then they wound up on the planet of the Turtleoids, which is known as Shell Shellrilla. It is a planet of alien turtle people. The turtleoids were, and yes, as you can see, they can hurt each other, by the way. The turtleoids were peaceful pacifists, and, well, they didn't know how to fight. They weren't really pacifists, again. Um, and when the turtles showed up, uh, the turtles were recruited by a scientist so, to teach his robots how to fight to protect them. Only problem was that part of the reason the turtleoids needed protecting was that... Crane's head is getting away, dudes! Yeah. Their, um, their planet was incredibly rich in gold. So, of course, they used gold to make their... And, yeah, we're gonna go turn in our request to burn. Or, burn's request. Get some points to help level up. Um, the thing with gold is it is extremely Finally, soft and malleable. Uh, gold can be drawn into wire without having to heat it first, which is not true of I don't of pretty much any other metal. So, uh, robots made of gold, not very durable. Which I was really surprised that the show actually acknowledged. Yeah, King of the Spill. Gee, who do you think our bad guy is gonna be? 
I love the Channel 6 um, ad there. Pond Cola! Yes, Irma, we do remember when you became a giant. I love how it actually spits out cans before it disappears. Oh, these kunai soldier. Oh, God. I hate these guys. Your best bet, which I don't do for a while, is to use the dodge roll to get in and then attack them out of the dodge roll. But, well, I'm only so good at doing that. So the, the Pond Cola uh, ties into something that was part of the story for the game, but um, didn't didn't really make it into the final... Uh, wasn't really made clear in the final product. Uh, Shredder has turned the punk frogs into a merchandising machine to raise money for the Foot Clan's operations. That's why they're everywhere. Uh, and of course, you see that billboard for Crystal Arcade. The Crystal City Mall is a location that appears in at least two or three episodes of the show. Man, I just love those tosses. When I can pull them off, it's great. I love the fact that the pizza can get run over by a... Um, ouch. The pizza can get run over by a train, and it's still good. Yeah, yeah, Tonfa Soldier. Jeez, I don't know what my problem is there. And now we have Mousers! Of course we do! First introduced in episode... Four? Or uh, three of the series? A Thing About Rats. Now, uh, I go straight for the power pizza hidden under the vending machine, because so many mousers. And it's really not much good for the next area of fights. There's not nearly as many guys. I mean, yes, these guys are freaking annoying, but still. And then, of course, there's the mousers who can grab onto you. But still, I prefer the power pizza for and those mousers. Yeah, you hear that music? Yeah. And we found Genghis, as I said. Yep. And a pizza. And a pizza. Uh, those big mousers, uh, I like, again, I like to take them out with a super, especially a dive. Raphael's diving super is a really good way of making up distance and getting dynamic entry on um, monsters, or monsters, uh, you know, enemies that may or may maybe too hard to just come up and whack a light. Uh, I'm staying down here because those steam bits will hurt you. If you, they, but they hurt your enemies too. However, uh, eventually you do, you might have to go up there because, well, not everybody wants to come down and fight like a turtle. Ow. Fucking hate that guy. Those guys. Yep. There, I was just sort of wackalating him because I could reach his feet. And we move on. And more of these assholes. And we found another disgusting bug. Can you guess who probably wants the disgusting bugs? And there's a pizza! And there's an explosion! I, I sort of love how they cough up mousers. It's gross, but really cool. And of course, we taunt because we've got a boss arena. So that vehicle that uh, the Rat King is standing on the is the vehicle he rides to fight you in the sewers in Turtles in Time. And even though I was talking over it, uh, they actually, whoever they've got doing the voice for the Rat King, 
Oh, I think it's Townsend Coleman. It says at the, in the credits at the end, we'll see. But whoever it is, very good. So this is a fight where you mostly have to just... You, you need to dodge the rats. Because if you don't, they'll grab onto you and that does damage. With the right rat pattern, you can taunt. I am one tired turtle. And yeah, that, that was me attempting to use this... A super move when I didn't have it yet. And we whack the Rat King. Um, if you aren't careful, if he grabs you, he will swing you around and throw you. So there is an achievement, by the way, for um. <laughs> You later, Do I have, how do I have this much left? Um, anyway, there is an achievement, by the way, for getting the last, uh, word. The last, um, hit, or for, you know, taking him out with Splinter. Uh, which I think I have achieved. I'd have to go look. And, but yeah, so, um, hold on a second. I want to check something here. Oops, yeah, that's the end of the episode. The whole thing just froze on me for some reason. So, thank you guys for joining me for Let's Play Ninja... Let's Play Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge, and I will see you next time. Have a great evening. Goodbye.